No, really, us as a staff and in the locker room, we preach to our guys day in and day out. Um, just, you know, we worry about that next game. Uh, for 1-0 and in that next game, um, we're in a good spot. If we're not, we move on to the next one, and we got to be 1-0 and for the next game. And if we do that enough times, um, you know, we pretty good chance we get a, a playoff bid. Yeah, yeah obviously, Cuthrow and Brennan were huge pieces to our success last year. Um, Moving forward, I, I, we had four other seniors that, that, that played roles um, that needed to be filled as well. Um, and, you know, with our, our freshman class um, and our uh, returners, um, we're going to have to do it by committee this year. Those are big, big shoes to fill. And um, a lot of it's common to look at the, the freshmen um, need to fill the roles of those seniors that we lost. But we had a lot of our returners this year work really hard this summer. and. Um, come in, in in great shape and ready to take on bigger roles and um, that comp combined with our, our freshmen um, we're gonna have to do it by committee this year and I think we, we can do that. Yeah we knew going in that our uh, our freshmen were gonna be a big part of it and you know whether uh, a freshman's on the first line, fourth line, out of the lineup uh, they're all gonna be big parts of it uh, in and out of the locker room. Uh, we have a very strong culture that, that our, our guys that have come and gone uh, worked really hard to, to get you know in our locker room and um, you know they're all great players um, some ready more than others but they're all working really hard and um, you know when, when we look at our, our depth this year it, it's it's a it's tough uh, we got a lot of guys that can play and um, most important part is though keeping that keeping that culture and I think our freshmen um, you know they're going to do that. They're all great kids. They're great players, but most importantly, they're great kids. And um, you know that that's what it's all about: keeping that culture strong uh, moving forward this season. I think with this group, uh, the guys that are wearing letters, um, we got a lot of strong personalities in there. And um, I mean, we have a lot of freshmen that have leadership qualities as well. And I think just having a big group of captains this year um, just helps you know the rookies come along and see what we're all about. And uh, really just buy into, you know, there's not just one captain, there's not two captains, um, everyone's a leader and, and you, know, the, you know, those guys with letters will lead the way um, and everyone else when they see fit, when it's time to step up and say something or um, when we need, the, there's a ton of guys in the locker room that have the ability to do No, I, I mean, we, the, the returners know how hard it was to get there and I think with our locker room real, like truly buying into that one and all mentality, um, you know, they see the, uh, the effects of that and the, the success we can have off of that mentality. Um, and, you know, we know, everyone knows our, our conference is as strong as it's ever been. We had five teams ranked in the top 20 by the end of the year last year. And, you know, every team's gotten better. Um, we know it's going to be a hard season. And that's why we really just try to keep that one and all mentality and not look too far ahead because anybody can beat anybody. Uh, at, on any given night and um, you know if we look too far ahead and look at those those bigger games um, you know it, it kind of loses focus on that weekend and like I said uh, any team can beat anybody if, if you don't bring it that night so just focusing on that next game uh, is huge for us.